Welcome back to Trading IQ, where we will learn the unlimited nature of the stock market. This is Shora Bhattacharji. Uh, firstly, I would like to apologize for not being regular. I think I'm uh, I'm shooting this uh, after a very long time. Uh, I'm not sure when I posted my last content, but uh, there has been a reason because uh, there is a construction that is going on. It's like a long overdue construction that was due since. Uh, the pandemic uh, and due to pandemic it uh, it got uh, delayed and uh, you know there is kind of constant noise 24 7 so i'm planning to move from this location is just because uh, it's not uh, well suited uh, to post content and you know uh, and i was distracted there are a lot of things that has that that uh, that has been happening and uh, uh, i lost my dear friends uh, she she uh, she was a, a lab and uh, um, you know, a lot of lot of things happened. Uh, I got married last year, so you know, and I I keep sharing my life through short videos on uh, another channel. You can uh, you know uh, get 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 to know myself more. Uh, but you know, I want to be dedicatedly sharing my views about the stock market because this is my passion. So after. 30 years of life, I have uh, found my passion. By the way, I'm 36. I have been uh, in the stock market for the last uh, six years, and uh, you know, I found my passion. And you know, I, I tried my hands at trading. I tried my hands at uh, Bitcoin. A lot of other things that that I could have, you know, put my hands on. But I I totally see that I can only make wealth by investing and proper authentic investing investing so i use stan winstein stage analysis methodology which you'll find extensively uh, i've done a lot of videos i've been uh, doing uh, this uh, you know i've been uh, running this channel since 2021 so you'll find a lot of contents uh, regarding uh, regarding how i plan on my trades uh, how i use stan winstein stage analysis now my emphasis would be more on trading psychology because this is very, very important. As uh, this is what this is what can make you wealth. It's not about your intelligent on how you know that this stock would go up will not make you wealth. Because uh, you will only be successful if you know how to manage your mind, how to manage your thoughts, how ma how to manage your emotions in the stock market. Because stock market does not care what you think. Stock market only. You know, it's it's a combination of all the cumulative uh, emotions and and uh, you know stress, anxiety. It's a it's a combination of all. Like you're putting in your money with stress, someone is putting their money with ease, with comfort. It's a combination of you know both the emotions. So I'm going to stress heavily, heavily on trading psychology and. You will share my perspective, right? It's it's about my perspective and how I am thinking uh, in regards to the stock market and how you can get get better at uh, investing. Now, by no means I am giving you any tips because you know you cannot invest based on my investment. I have my I mean I've shared in what uh, which stocks I have invested and uh, I've 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 stayed invested on, on those stocks. For I think for for a span of two to three years, and uh, I mean, if I'm sharing an analysis of any stock, it does not mean that I'm telling you to buy that stock because you know you cannot. You what I'm sharing is that my conviction towards the stock market and how I'm planning towards buying a stock, and then what would my what would my plan be when I'm investing in a given stock and uh, you know how i run with it, it it's a, it's it, 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 that is what matters it is not about what you buy at what price it it, it is the, the most important thing is that how you continue with that investment with ups and downs because the market is volatile market will play tricks right someday you would see that the market is down five percent what will you do on those days will define your up uh, your your net result your uh, net profit so Again, I'm just sharing my analysis so that you can pick up the plan and then plan accordingly and then create a plan for yourself. And then you know, I'll also try to share how I shape my mindset and how it has been beneficial for me uh, overall and in, in general in life. So I'm going to share all that 
so i would like to request you to please uh, keep a tap on this channel and uh, please stay tuned and thanks for all of my subscribers who uh, i mean i haven't lost a subscriber uh, you know since the time i haven't been posting content and um uh, though i'm it's a very small number i'm approaching 350 but uh, you know i appreciate all your help and support and uh, i plan to work on this channel dedicatedly to bring you more uh views of like perspective and and uh, more emphasis would be on trading psychology so please stay tuned in today's video i'm going to just do a recap on my investment and then um, i've just done some readjustment to couple of stocks uh in which i had already invested uh, you know couple of years back and i have stayed invested for uh, for this whole duration so you know the market is doing wonder it it, it has been doing magic uh i remember i had uh, done videos where i was very hopeful that the market would reach 20000 and it is now at, at 21000 so you know time flies and uh, things happen uh so yeah i'll just do a recap in, in today's video and then i'm going to plan accordingly for the next upcoming month and uh, weeks and months and uh, quarters and i'm going to bring in more video on trading psychology and of course some technical analysis which i'll i'll i'll, I'll be continuously sharing and again i use stan winstein stage analysis to buy sell and hold stocks so please watch till the end So this is my complete portfolio, and uh, I'll start with. Uh, so I think I haven't done any video on Nike. I had a short video where I was sort of uh, expecting uh, this breakout. So this breakout uh, above one hundred and fifty with uh, significant volume. So I have my positions around one hundred and sixty sixty five level, and again it consolidated for uh, a brief duration uh, here, and then it uh, broke. out of it uh, with again significant volume you see it broke out of it uh, this week and it's it's doing uh, fabulously well so nike is one of the stocks and uh, i had my eyes on it and it it has been there in my watch list for a very long time i was sort of waiting for this consolidation to break, you know it, it breaks up to for it to break out of this consolidation again so stan winstein stage analysis is pretty simple so you wait for a stock which is uh in you know stage 4 and then it creates a stage 1 base so it has been in stage 4 since since day 1 like from since it opened in the market at around 3 336 and then since then it's been a downfall and uh, it always uh, stayed under uh, the 30 weeks moving average and after that it started uh, consolidating and it, it was not going below a certain level which is around 120 as you can see here on this chart was not going below 118 around 118 level and it started consolidating between 180 to 150 it tried breaking out of 150 quite a number of times one time two time three time four time and then it eventually broke out of it with significant volume so that's that's where the money should be based on stan winstein stage analysis and that is the plan that i follow again this is part of the plan so if you try to imitate me and try to buy it right now it it's it's impossible i mean i cannot i i i will never advise you that because you know timing is important like and and most importantly it has to be according to your plan and not my plan i cannot buy any stock according to anyone else's plan right so that's how it is you have to ha have to have a plan so you can sort of create a plan and there are a number of stocks that you can study and then utilize this plan and then you know just just define yourself a plan and then accordingly take action like buy sell hold so my long term view for the stocks is of course i would not sell this uh, i mean if it if it continues its stay now it is in stage 2 right so this is stage 4 and this is stage 1 let me just define it clearly because it's been a long time since i have done video so why not uh, clearing your doubt where is So this is stage four. Okay. This is stage one, right? Now this is just started stage uh, stage uh, stage two. This is just so I just change the color to yellow. So this has just started stage two, right?
and uh, sky is the limit i always say that sky is the limit so i'll only i mean i'll be on this stock i'll be staying invested on the stock you know for as long as i can and uh, until it creates stage 3 and then stage 4 it starts stage 4 which any again i'll get the indication based on the 30 week moving average so i would not care if it jumps down and up 5% 10% on a given day until unless it breaks below this 30 week moving average significantly for for me to shake it up and then think of it but you know it's a long term play right so that's how i plan my trade and uh, i have i've invested in nike so now the only stock that that hasn't been performing well but i'm i'm staying invested it's it's luxury chemical uh i bought this around the uh, when it broke out of this level uh, around 2280 and it's sort of consolidating around this level so I'm expecting a huge volume spike based on you know a couple of spikes that I have or we have already seen in the stock and the other chemical stocks were performing good uh so I will stay invested and until unless it sort of breaks below this 30 week moving average I wouldn't do much now this TV in, interestingly I have invested this morning and that spiked up uh some energy for me to share my thoughts again and come back and make myself committed towards it towards towards this channel so that and i i felt that i've been lacking uh, commitment and uh, and i'm i'm trying to uh, you know change that perspective and then accordingly try to be more regular and share my perspective so so thanks to dish tv i'm back again and uh, i shall be posting regular content so here as you can see so i have my uh, i have my initial buy at, at uh, a very low level like 11 I, I bought some stocks at 11 and i just reinvested some uh, amount around this breakout 24 uh, 24.15 uh, because you see this has been uh, in in this way that it tried breaking out of this this 23 24 level two times in the past four years five years right from 2019 till uh, today uh, now it eventually broke out of this with significant volume you see the volume spike it has been the highest 755 million you know in its history since its inception in 2007 it's been the highest volume that it has seen and it is breaking out of a very key level so you know that's where my money should be based on my plan based on stan winstein stage analysis again i'll just do a quick uh, stage analysis and it, it's it's just starting stage 2 you see because this ha this has been a stage 4 for a very long time right and now it was consolidating around this stage 1 level so i bought some you know it's a penny stock and i invested not much uh, to be honest i invested around 10 15000 rupees uh, when it was at 11 so i i play my bet uh, safely on stocks which i'm not sure and i'm not following my plan so i did not follow my plan when i bought this uh, stock but i had this intuition that it might break break out because you know the overall media sector was performing good so this tv was part of the media sector and it's a penny stock so worth investing some some thousands and now I'm, I'm i'm getting serious and i might pick up this stock you know, uh, you know down the line so i picked up some uh, some stocks uh when it broke out of this 24 level and you see it is it is now starting stage two and state like stage four <clears throat> you see the stage four from 120 to five that's how stage two could be stage four is is a monstrous thing you know for for short seller now stage two is a monstrous thing for buyer and uh, it, it does not have any limit when it starts getting the momentum it might reach up to any level like sky's the limit again so why not um so that's that's the that's the tv paras defense tech uh it's i think it's also performing uh exceptionally well i had my sh uh, share around this level and it's it's going good rcf again you can watch all of them i have done separated videos on each one of the stock each one of the investment uh axis bank uh, pnb you know i was heavily bullish on the, the psu sector and the banking sector and i have shared videos on each of the stocks hemisphere property one of the stellar stellar buy in my portfolio and you see i i bought it around this level and it's it's doing its wonders uh, overall the overall reality sector is doing its wonders you see i i had this level 
uh, when it broke out of this level, I was I was invested in the reality sector. So Sona Coms and you know these stocks are doing okay. I have my uh, share uh, take my around 1185. So it's not doing great, but I'm hoping and I'm optimistic on this stock. Again, it is not part of my plan, but you know it's, it's like some intuition that again intuition is also my plan because now I have accumulated accumulated some experience from the market and uh, you know that's how i play uh, play with so and you know it, it is my plan it is based on my intuition my intuition comes from my experience dealing with the stock market i have been watching charts from god knows uh, you know six years so it's a very long time i have had a lot of perspectives looking at the chart now i have totally different perspective i'm looking at the same chart but previously i would go into some different time frame and then do different crazy stuff now from those mistakes i've learned from my mistakes and then i have utilized my knowledge by reading the book uh, you know the stan winston's book that that changed my perspective and then you know different uh, psychological aspect right I, i've read a lot of books on uh, mark douglas's trading psychology and it's not about mark douglas i i, I read a lot of other books i mean i have done the uh, inner engineering course and it's just to shape my mindset because that is that is what uh, you know holds the key you know, it's not about your skill set to identify based on. It's it's a very easy plan. If you know, if you understand what is Stan Winston stage analysis, it's a very easy plan. But when you see a stock breaking out of a stage one to stage two with significant volume, what would you do? How much money would you invest? Do you have? Would you have that? Uh, you know, you would fear that. You know, what if I invest and it goes down and then so much, so much negativity would so sort of rush in into your mind, into your thoughts. How would you cope up with that? How would you how would you get past of those negative thoughts and you know have that convincing mindset that you know I'll, I'm going to invest in this this much amount and this is my plan this is my risk uh, you know I I would uh, take take this stock I, mean, I, I I will get out of the stocks if it goes down at, at after a certain level so you have to have that conviction you have to have the plan you can only have that conviction if you have a solid proper plan so this is it for today's video you know it's just um, sort of coming back to uh, some some regular habits of creating uh, content and uh, I'm going to do that from from today onwards you know I'll start slowly it's just a habit formation I, I, I read a book uh, atomic habits by James clear and I I'm subscribed to his newsletter and it's it's amazing to learn from from the from the legends mindset on how they think and how they create habits so again to, to come back to uh, building some habits on creating content so i'm going to start slow maybe i'll i'll come uh, I'll, I'll post on a weekly basis and share my perspective on the on on uh, regarding the stock market so i'll close it off by saying this thing so people will say people will speculate that the market would go down go down because it's it's overvalued it over, you know it's it's going going crazy you know where people should expect a retracement i would say of course I mean, of course, you have to have a backup plan always. But when it is doing good, why do you think of any negative negative stuff? You should have your backup plan at all time. Even if in life, if everything is going good, you should have a backup plan because if, if suddenly something happens, then then what would you do? Because you haven't expected it, so you should expect the unexpected, right? But then, why do why to over speculate? If it's doing good, if it's doing its wonder, just go with the flow. You cannot beat the market. You can only play along with the market. If the market is going good, market is doing fabulously well, you should be doing fabulously well. Your portfolio should be doing fabulously well. And if it goes down, market will give you the signal. If you look at the technical chart, so don't go by the news. I, I don't follow market fundamental news because it's very tricky you can get lost with news and stuff because you know the news channel folks would earn money by instilling fear so that's what they do instilling greed that the stock is going going you know crazy buy at this point sell at this point you know do that and does do the, you do not do that and when it is going down they will give you all, all the fear of the market you know everyone is uh, selling their stocks and you know it's going crazy the money it's a bloodbath and all those they use those words to instill fear so stay out of the news if you're a fundamental analyst they just put your money based on 
your analysis on you know, in in terms in terms of balance sheet you have to have to have that understanding on how to read balance sheets because if you're if you're a fundamental analyst then you should know the company in and out and not rely on some news from z news or cnbc you can watch them for fun but you cannot rely on them so again when the market is doing good play along with it market will take you to your uh, destiny and uh, if, if the market is showing sign that it, you know it no longer has that uh, fuel or uh, the mileage you would know by looking at the technical chart and then you would take action accordingly so always expect the unexpected but don't spoil your fun if the market is giving you fun why think about that it will come down just play play along with it that's it guys uh, i hope you like this video if you do please uh, like this video share this video with your friends and i'm going to be regular from here onwards and uh, i'll see you guys on my next video thank you have a great day bye